We want to bring in uh, Sarah Gibbons. She's a reporter for National Geographic, and you've been reporting on these devastating fires. Sarah, I just feel like every year we report on these fires, and they, they seem to become more and more challenging yeah. to get a handle on. Why are these fires so difficult to fight? Um, well, right now in California, they really have everything working against them that could possibly go wrong. There's been um, severe droughts still persistent in 18 percent of the state. Um, really intense winds are making these fires incredibly fast. And there's yet to be any rain that could offer any sort of relief to firefighters out there. So you wrote an article and you quote the president of the California Professional Firefighters in your article saying that what we're seeing now is year round fire season. I mean, mm -hmm. that is pretty disturbing for a lot of people who aren't in the state. I got to imagine for people who are living with this every single year, it's a catastrophe. Oh, absolutely. Um, and in California, you really it's important to know that you have two seasons. You have sort of this uh, drier, hotter summer season with no rain. And then in the fall in Northern California and then later for Southern California, they um, typically get some rain that offers them some relief where you don't have such flammable brush and dry grass lying around. But um, in the past couple of years, that just hasn't been the case. And firefighters are worried that it will continue to be dry falls and winters and uh, leave the ground just poised for fire. And then does the climate in California also add additional challenges when it comes to fighting these fires? Oh, absolutely. Right now they have extremely low humidity um, and the Santa Ana winds are only creating gusts of uh, 70 plus miles per hour. That's just uh, helping everything take flame. So what's it going to take? I mean, the one of the questions I always have, not being from California, and we look at this sometimes from the optics of living on the East Coast in New York City, where we don't get a lot of these natural disasters, are a lot of these fires started by individuals? Are they started as mistakes? Are they, I mean, what is the genesis of most of these large fires? Mm -hmm. um, well, right now, uh, investigators are still trying to figure out what started the, uh, the Woolsey, the Hills, and the campfires. Um, but we do know from previous research that humans were responsible for starting um, so many of the wildfires that take place in California, um, whether on purpose or by accident. It really takes only a small spark to set the ground ablaze here. So then, you know, wow. moving forward, right, we can't control Mother Nature at this point. You know, the, the, the humidity level is what it is, the cl climate, the rainfall. So how do we make sure that next year's fire season, whenever it begins or ends, is shorter, more controllable? Is there anything within mm -hmm. our power? Because it certainly seems like we're sort of at the whim of Mother Nature. Yeah. Well, California really it just needs more resources. Typically during this time of year when Southern California is dealing with wildfires, Northern California's wildfire season has ended and you can share resources in the state. but. Obviously, Northern California right now is dealing with its massive campfire and just doesn't have the extra firefighters to spare. So have you spoken to any of your sources about the president's tweets? Because you just said that California needs more resources. The president has threatened to cut off resources. Um, well, obviously, I mean, people there who are fighting the fires um, are really only asking for support and more support. They're doing the best they can. We should point out that the president has pledged new resources since his other tweet about cutting off resources. He's pledged a, 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 num, a, a bunch of sort of emergency emergency money for California. So we'll just put that out there. Yeah, no, it's good. I mean, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think when he saw the blowback from firefighters themselves, he realized the error of that perhaps uh, earlier tweet. Uh, all right, Sarah, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.